We'll go to the worst case scenario first of all of our cars. This is the car that I crashed at the uh, 2001 Daytona 500, one where I flipped in third place and landed on my teammate Bobby Labonte, who was running 23rd. It's not been cleaned or anything, so it's still got the dirt, the grass, everything that was in it, and it's uh, pretty much destroyed. <laughs> this one, I'm pretty proud of. This was the first win car that I won at Richmond with. And then we go to the fun cars. This is my 2005 Lamborghini Murcielago. I've driven it one time and got lucky and didn't get pulled over in it, but it's a fun car to drive. It's just very, very fast. Got our 2003 Hummer that Dub did for us. Put the smoke on the grill. It's got seven TVs inside of it. If you're going out with your buddies, it's a cool, cool vehicle to take out. We got my 56 Chevy short bed pickup. These cars all, you know, are cars that you know caught my eye. My famous unique whip, Smoke DeVille. The Smoke DeVille logo on the back. Got our 1950 Mercury lead sled, our 57 Chevy Bel Air. The Corvette up here on top is one of the two pace cars for the 2007 Brickyard 400. Got one of Carroll Shelby's creations, a Shelby Series 1. Got our Tony Stewart Monte Carlo on the top. And down below, our 1967 Pontiac GTO. That's the cool part of this car. The 55 Chevy Nomad on the top, and that's the first car that I bought at Barrett Jackson. Probably the car that is my favorite of all of them in this room is my 79 Pontiac Trans Am Firebird Smoking the Bandit Edition. And of course, the cool part about this car, the walkie-talkie, the CB radio. Each particular day, you get a different car in mind, and you want to, you have that mode that you're in that you want to drive that particular car on that day. So. That's the fun part about having different cars to choose from. This is the car that Danny Lasowski won the World of Outlaws Championship in 2001. This was my uh, first year as a car owner. This is the car that I won my first Chili Bowl Nationals with in 2005. Probably about seven miles as the crow flies from here is the Columbus Fairgrounds where I started my driving group, you know, driving midgets and driving sprint cars. That's what I did week in and week out. You know, there were nights we slept in our car uh, on the side of the road because we couldn't afford hotel rooms, but that's what we did to race, and that's what uh, eventually led us to NASCAR is that determination. It's good to have these cars up here, and even from the floor downstairs, you can see them, and it's a constant reminder of the steps you had to take along the way to accomplish our dream of uh, being an IndyCar driver and a NASCAR driver. We've shown you all the cars in the shop here, so if you're going to stick around any longer, we're going to have to give you some Armor All products. You're going to have to help me clean cars and clean the shop. So uh, glad you guys got to spend some time here. Feel free to come by anytime.